On today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Got my 16 tooth front sprocket. Let's put that on. See if that's enough. Yep. This is just a keeper. A lot of people ask when they put this sprocket on if it's supposed to be tight and not wobble. It'll wobble. This keeper basically just keeps it from falling off the spline. See? Only the ones with a nut, they won't wobble. That's what she said. If you're going to use a power tool, make sure you don't go too much. Just a little bit. Aluminum, you know. Put this with my stack of sprockets. I typically don't go off the length of these, but I'm going to try it. Snug this. Snug the lock nut. Now a lot of you mentioned I should put an air pod filter on there. Leave the jetting and then end up putting a pipe. So I think I might end up doing that. Because I'll probably have to go up to a hundred. So if I do do that stuff, the hundred main jet should be good. Oh, I gotta tighten them mirrors, I forgot. No choke needed. So 55, it's just under 8,000. Aw, oh, man. I was going to try to do a 0 to 50 here. I think I can go in on a pilot a half a turn too. It's a little bit rich. up something on the road just too much I think I'm gonna change it I can always go back let's see if I could do this without taking all the plastic off <laughs> oh that piece fell off when I heard that noise. Guess I better go back and look for it. It was about, oh, there it is. <laughs> 
See, I say go over all the bolts. You know, I don't think I tried to tighten that one. Tighten all the frame bolts and the plastic bolts, and I never tightened that one. I am going to attempt to remove the bowl without taking the carburetor off and change the jet that way. What do you guys think? Can I do it? I already peed. This one. You definitely get from here. Let's see if I can get my fingers in there. Or this little bit, probably. <laughs> Dropped another one. So yeah, it can be done. If you have the patience, I guess. We'll find out right now. If this will squeeze past. Oh man, so close. So close. I don't have to take the bowl out. I'll just leave it there. What's up, kitty? That would be a lot easier if it wasn't so hot. I'm impatient. <laughs> I think the emulsifier tube and everything came out. Yep. Somebody was asking where the emulsifier tube is. It's right here. I guess it'd be easier to hook on to that anyway. Let's see what we got. Hundred, one oh eight, ninety, one forty five, my god. It'll be the last one. One oh five. Ninety two. One ten. One fifteen. <laughs> Gonna be the last one. One thirty. Ninety eight. There it is. Oh, I got butterfingers today, huh? Probably easier to get a little wrench to fit that and tighten that up in the carburetor. Seven millimeter. What's up, kitty? You do a metal shop today? So you can't change it without taking the carburetor off. If you have the proper tools and depends how good you are with your fingers. Oh, I think he wants to probably get on top of the van. Oh, oh, jeez. What are you doing? You can't go on top of the van. Oh, I forgot to put the spark plug back on. <laughs> See if we don't lose anything this time. All right, we're gonna do a zero to 50. There it is. It's 
of 55 is just under eight grand. So it's not quite red line, so that's good. You can feel the taller gears though. Of course I have to GPS the speedometer. <laughs> I could be doing 45. But it feels pretty accurate, you know, you can kind of tell. Uh, got a little headwind here, boys. Slight downhill. All right. Lost me to wheelie doing 65. So I'd have to put a pipe on it and maybe a bigger car. And I might maybe squeeze close to 70. I don't know. But it's not loading up now. Yeah, see, you can cruise around. This is a flat. You can cruise 55 with this. You might want to try that E3 spark plug, I think it is. I think I have an extra one in the garage. That's just about perfect with this pipe and everything. Maybe I'll do a test, like you guys said, throw a pod filter on it. Take the air box off, see if it gets more air jammed in there. Yeah, you never know. It's a slight uphill right here. Um, wide open fifth gear. So it ain't no powerhouse, of course. I forget what it claims on a website for horsepower. 11? And a lot of people are saying, is it a good first bike to learn on? Yeah, I think so. It's nice and low to the ground. It's not super fast and it actually handles well. Yeah, it definitely cruises a lot better with that 16 tooth front sprocket. Idle's a little bit low. Not bad, a little improvement, not drastic. Elvis has left the building. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.